Hey guys, it's me, Risa. Welcome to my kitchen. Yeah, I'm wearing the hat. <laughs> it's not cold in my kitchen. I'm just, um, oh, my oven's ready. <laughs> the beeper's going off. I just got back from a walk and I'm hungry and it's dinner time and I'm in the mood for pizza and I'm treating myself tonight. So I'm going to show you how I make a really easy, fast, delicious and versatile pizza. Okay. And I'm using some bacon, some cheese, sauce, some olives, and sun-dried tomatoes and you can add any veggie or other things but I'm having a big salad so I figured you know what I just want just a quick pizza so this is what we're going to do the first thing I did was I have my mama lupa tortillas and I have two of them because why not if I was going to have pizza out it would have been a lot more carbs so these are from the low carb grocery store, 70 calories each, and one gram of saturated fat, zero sugar, and five grams of protein. So 10 grams of protein just in these tortillas. And you can see that I just toasted them first because I like it crispy. I don't want a soft pizza, okay? So that's how I like it. And I have, usually I use my own marinara and you can find that on my YouTube channel, of course. But tonight I just had some Rios Arabiata and I'm just using a few tablespoons. So I won't even probably have to count that. I have some low fat mozzarella cheese that I bought um, and that's depending on how much you want to use. So for a quarter of a cup, it's only two smart points, but you can use more. I have black and green olives that I love, and I cooked up some bacon, two slices, two smart points. You can use turkey bacon. You don't have to use bacon, but it's a treat. And I had some sun-dried tomatoes that I'm going to add as well. So I've preheated uh, my toaster oven. And now I'm just going to add my sauce on top, and it's very crispy. The thing about toasting these tortillas that you need to remember, and I'm just going to spread this out with my little brush here, is um, you need to poke a hole in it, and because they puff up like crazy, and when I'm at work, I really have to pay attention because I've almost lit the staff room on fire I'm not joking honestly um, you just have to poke a few holes in it and um, then it won't um, balloon up like a puff ball okay so we just have the sauce on this is not easy with one hand but I'm just doing this quick video to show you and then of course I like my cheese next so I'm just, and you can use any low fat cheese. I have this other um, Zerto cheese that I use a lot. And why I like that one is for two smart points. It's only one, I mean, for two tablespoons, one smart point. But tonight it's Saturday, depending on when you're watching this. And it's my splurge. As you notice, I didn't say cheat because I don't like, nobody's cheating. So I'm just adding some black and green olives on one. And I would have even put some pineapple on it, which is my favorite, but I didn't have any in the house. So this is just quick and easy. And I fried up my bacon because this is my treat again. And my little splurge for tonight. And voila, I'm just going to put it in the oven. And it's all cooked, obviously. In fact, I just want to add a little bit more sauce. And... The great thing is afterwards, if you wanted, oh, I shouldn't have done that. That's okay. So I'm just going to stick it in my preheated 400 degrees um, oven here. I'm going to just put one at the top and one at the bottom. If I can fit them in, um, you can use your real oven. I'm just going to move it. Oops. Move it up so we can just heat them and they're going to heat and then I made a nice beautiful salad and you can use whatever dressing tonight I felt like some blue cheese because it's so chunky and it is amazing and you can see it's made with yogurt Greek yogurt 
um, and it's very, very low in saturated fat. It's only 2.5 for a tablespoon, so one smart point, and that's all I really need. So my whole dinner is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight to ten smart points, depending on what you use. So I'll be back to show you how amazing my pizza is going to look in a second. So here they are. Of course, I forgot to mention the sun-dried tomatoes that I added. Again, it's versatile. Um, the olives, you can count depending on how many you use. is about one smart point for about five or six olives. Or um, Again, this recipe is up to you what you want to add, how much you want to add. And then I just added some sauce, some dressing to my salad. And voila. In minutes, you have a delicious and guilt-free. You can have this for lunch. You can make one for a snack. You can cut them up. You can have them for brunch for, and, of course, for dinner as a snack. Okay, why not? After a workout, you can cut them up, and they're just super delicious for the whole family. And your kids will love making them, your grandchildren, because they can add whatever toppings they like, too. Hope you love this recipe. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to Risa Warner Utes. Go back to me again. And um, don't forget to um, share my channel with everybody and my Facebook group, WW Tips and Recipes by Risa. And I'm going to eat because I am starving. Take care. Bye, guys.